President Biden could end this crisis and prevent a war uh, with Russia by doing something very simple, guaranteeing that Ukraine will not become a member of NATO. Because if Ukraine became a member of NATO, that would put U.S. and NATO troops directly on the doorstep of Russia, which, as Putin has laid out, would undermine their national security interests. Uh, the reality is that it is highly, highly unlikely that Ukraine will ever become a member of NATO anyway. So the question is, why doesn't President Biden and, and NATO leaders actually just say that yes. and guarantee it? Which, which begs the question of, of why are we in this position then? Uh, if, if the answer to this and preventing this war from happening is, is very clear as day, and, and, and really it just points to one conclusion that I can see, which is they actually want Russia to invade Ukraine. Why would they? Because, number one, it gives the Biden administration a clear excuse to go and levy draconian sanctions, which are a modern-day siege against Russia and the Russian people. And number two, it cements this Cold War in place. Uh, you know, the, the military-industrial complex is the one that benefits from this. They clearly control the Biden administration. Warmongers on both sides in Washington have been drum drumming up these tensions. If, if they get Russia to invade Ukraine, then, uh, again, it locks in this new Cold War. The military-industrial complex starts to make a ton of more money than, than they have been in fighting uh, al-Qaeda or, or making weapons for al-Qaeda. And who pays the price? The American people pay the price. The Ukrainian people pay, pay the price. The Russian people pay the price. It undermines our own national security, but the military-industrial complex that controls so many of our politicians wins, and they, they run to the bank. You've seen this from both sides as a lawmaker and a member of our armed forces, so I think you've got a credible view on this. I've looked at this carefully, Tucker, and I have yet to find any benefit that a, a political leader has used or could use to justify this to the American people. All you hear is like, well, we have to defend democracy. We have to defend this democratic country of Ukraine. But as you know very well, uh, this current president, you know, shuts down, politi arrests political opposition, throws them in yep. jail, shuts down TV stations that are critical to him. Uh, I, I have a hard time seeing how President Biden or anyone can say with an honest face, we are defending democracy. And the reason is because our own government has publicly supported these authoritarian actions by the Ukrainian president in shutting down their own political opposition. And it begs the question, uh, this sounds familiar to some of the things that unfortunately we're seeing play out right here at home. I was, about, I was just about to say, it sounds like their kind of democracy.